What's up, Lola Android? Sonic Fan Gal here. If you haven't heard of me before, be sure you check out my other pages as I got a lot of other content. Also, be sure you check out my books and also be sure you check out for Sonic Double X Team Misfit that's coming out April 20th of 2023. Also, be sure you subscribe so that way I can get up to 600 subs. So, the last episode of this, um, I had talked about my OC, Jane Doe also known as Amanda. The another character that I'm going to be discussing is named Katana or Katana Cat. <laughs> Katana Cat is a character I created when I was about 10 or 11, <laughs> I want to say. Um, I actually got inspired by her character from Debbie Ryan. Debbie Ryan used to star on uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Um, I think it was on deck, correct me if I'm wrong, and she also starred on Jesse. She was always known to play as a character who like came from Kansas, Oklahoma, something like that. And I always loved her personality, I always loved how she acted, so here we are. Uh, that's how I created Katana. I used to ship my character with Silver, and to anybody who's going to sit there and hate on that, what kid Sonic fan has not at least shipped a character with a Sonic character? I mean, we all have at some point. It's just a fact. So <laughs> that's how it used to be a thing. So what role does she play in in Team Misfit? Well, she's um, she's got botanical powers. Botanical is botany. Botany is like plants. She is very good with plants. She actually used to be a farmer. Um, she grew up in Kansas. And she, um, like Silver, is an optimist. She's very sweet. She's always had a sweet personality. And she's something like a cowgirl. Now, it took me a while to look up, you know, Kansan accents as much as I could. But it was really hard to. Because I'm from Tennessee. And... I don't know exactly Kansan accents. I've never even been to Kansas. I've always wanted to be. I've always wanted to try to at least go to Kansas, but I've never had the chance. You'll find out more about her backstory in the book. Um, she's going through something of her own. She's got a secret that she's hiding from everybody, and then it just becomes an even bigger secret, and then something else happens. You'll get the gist of it. <laughs> Sonic Double X Team Misfit is the last prequel I have before my official Sonic project that I hope to come out sometime in the summer. Um, this project I have been working on since I was at least eight years old. Like, I have tried so hard to get this project in the best that I could, and I, a part of me still sometimes wishes that I would have just done it when I was in high school, because that was really when I first started getting really serious about the project was my freshman year. So it is still around and I just need to doctor it a bit because I, I wrote it when I was a kid. So <laughs> I will definitely be editing it, definitely be, you know, fixing it and adding some more touches to things that my adult self would appreciate. So here's some information about Team Misfit. It's rated 16 plus and here's the list of the reasons why because I'm not going to be able to read all that off because I've got a memory of a goldfish. <laughs> and it is marked as mature on Wattpad and for that reason it's because it does show some serious issues like um, one of the examples being bulimia. Bulimia is subtle in the story but you will probably get the gist of it eventually. Um, however, the book will not just be solely about that. Um, growing up, I suffered from anorexia. And last year, I was about on the bridge of anorexia, and thankfully, I stopped. I would stopped it. So I want to make a message, you know? You can lose weight. Just don't starve yourself. Don't throw up constantly that's not even healthy for people in the first place and you will eventually die it's very serious it's a very serious disease and it's very addicting and i i hate to say it like that but it's the truth is addiction 
uh, very badly. <laughs> Addiction bad, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So another list of things is about diet. It does um, list diet as being something. Um, blood and gore, it's not going to be, you know, as out there as it was in Sonic X2. It's going to be a little bit different and you'll you'll see what I mean. A lot of the characters that I'm gonna have, there are gonna be flashbacks just like it was in the last one. There's gonna be a few more. <sighs> the thing with this is I didn't expect there to be so many chapters. So um, I was making chapters that had like a million words in them. And I don't know why I was doing that because I'd only wanted to make 16 chapters, but then I thought, well, I have too much story in there to make 16 chapters. I mean, that's a lot of words. So I have now have since had to edit it, and I'm still working on it currently. Um, this book will also be a graphic novel, just like last time. It's going to be showing a few pictures here and there. And most of the pictures are going to be made by moi, myself. Um, I've been drawing Sonic characters since I was about eight. So... <laughs> Hopefully it's not too hard for me. I also drew the cover at 3 a.m. I did mess up a little bit on it, just a tad, but overall it looks pretty good, honestly, for, for me anyway. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason I always draw at 3 a.m. I don't know how I manage to do it, but I do. Every time. I also draw listening to Creepypasta. <laughs> yes, I was a Creepypasta girl. I still am. I still listen to horror stories. Yeah. Aside from that, um, Kitana is 14. Um, some little bit more information about her. Um, she loves friends. She loves her friends. Um, you'll eventually see that more as the chapter progresses. And she does start becoming more and more loyal. So you will get to see one of my first ever characters eventually pop up. And she is... The protagonist, her name is Alina. I'll talk to about her in another video, but it will show mostly in the point of views of Alina and Katana. So that's one thing, I guess. <laughs> I am very excited about this myself. I'm super excited, and I cannot wait to share this book with you guys. It's been a passion for me ever since I was a little, little. And... <sighs> To be honest, I always wanted to make it into a movie, but obviously I, I don't have the experience, the class, the anything. So writing is my next best bet. So if you do like reading, I would mind if you guys would hop down to Wattpad and read some of my books. I do have other books that were in the works, the, most of them are completed, and I do have your boyfriend out but with some changes as I had my book deleted a while back. So it's definitely becoming more abridged from what it was before. It's definitely been altered. And a lot of my books are being altered as we speak. I'm probably thinking about another book in the works, but um, I'm not going to say what it is because it's kind of a surprise. So with that being said, I, I hope... That this little talk, this everything about my characters. Another thing, this is probably going to disappoint some people. This story is not a love story. Just like Sonic X2, it is not a love story at all. There is some romance in it, but it is not a love story. Um, the characters are mostly, it's mostly more of a darker setting. And... That's why I made it more 16 plus because I don't want a kid reading that, if that makes sense. Um, when I was a kid, I saw a lot of stuff that was not good. I grew up in the 2000s where, you know, the internet really didn't have that much of a filter. So, yes. <laughs> Another thing that you'll probably come to find out more in this book is... When you've grown up with brothers, you learn a little bit of tricks. I would know I grew up with like seven of them. And no, they weren't all my biological brothers. I only have one biological brother. The rest of them were just his friends and they lived here the entire time. I was literally the only girl. 
So pretty much the synopsis of this story is my character, Alina, um, her and her twin brother, Adam, have moved to Mobius. And Alina meets Katana, and Katana offers to take her to this party. And everything goes from there. <laughs> so that's pretty much all I'm going to be telling you guys. Um, it's going to be exciting. There's definitely going to be more characters, unlike in Sonic X2, which Sonic X2 was a more of a last minute project that I had decided. Um, so you will expect more chapters in this book. You will also expect a little less gore in it. Um, you will expect some stuff that will probably be triggering to some people, especially those who have suffered from eating disorders. But I'm, I'm really trying not to put it in your face as much as possible. Like, I am really trying not to. <laughs> um, I, I've always had an issue with that. I've always been very big on detail. And I guess Wattpad's guidelines are not big on that. <laughs> so I'm trying to view more subtlety instead. So with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoy. I hope you guys can come down on April 20th. Yes, it is 420. <laughs> so, yeah, 420. 420 blaze it, am I right? <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be off here and I'll we'll see you guys. I hope to see you guys around. Um, if you did like this video, be sure you click the like button. Also, be sure you've subscribed so we can get up to 600 subs. Also, be sure you check out my other books and also check out my pages. And I love you little androids. God bless and remember, this isn't goodbye forever. This is just goodbye for now. Bye.